Since 2020, everybody has been trying to get people into tech because we know during COVID, a lot of people's lives were affected. But those of us that had tech type of jobs, we could work remote. Now, we also have these different programs guaranteeing six figures and everything else. And some of those could be quite pricey. However, in today's episode, I'll be telling you about one of the fastest ways you can get into IT for a good price. Welcome back to Textual Chatter. I'm your host, HD. And as you guys know, I am a cybersecurity professional and a career coach. And in today's episode, we'll be talking about one of the best courses that's been invented in the last couple of years. And it's also today's sponsor, Course Careers. Course Careers has an IT course that's developed to help you get into IT as quick as possible. It's taught by Mr. Josh Matacor, and I'm sure you've seen him on YouTube. Great content creator, great professor. He does a lot of good things, just great. One of the main things I like about this course is that it's affordable. So if you're interested in course careers, use my link that'll be in the description and get access to a free introductory course to course careers and get $50 off your paid course. Now, let me give you a little bit of background on me and then we'll actually get into the meat and potatoes of the video. As you all know, I started my career off in help desk after graduating and getting my bachelor's in 2013. Now I started off in help desk, but I really didn't have that many skills even though I went to college. Now the route I'm trying to direct you to will help you save far, 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 far more money than I did going to school at a fraction of the cost. So let's get into the course. Where a lot of people may tell you to start at doing something like the A plus or the Google IT support certification or certificate, those are good options. But one of the reasons I like this is because this gives you practical skills and as a career coach, that's one of the things I always preach to clients, whether it's in a consultation call or we're coaching practical skills. I've had so many clients that's come to me, whether they did this off my recommendation already or as I'm coaching them, trying to help them get some IT skills is doing this course. And we're going to go through the curriculum briefly. Now, you can see right here, this person is giving his testimonial career in IT 57K in just one month. So you may be asking yourself. Why should I get into IT? Well, you see, the average entry level salary in America is $40,000, $153. Now, that's what that says. Now, you see, it says the numbers range as low as $26,000, as high as $56,000. Now, let's say, what is the average entry level for, we're going to say, IT professional? Now, this is saying average. Now, I want you to know that doesn't necessarily mean this may not be what you get from taking this course. So I want to put that disclaimer out there. They're not claiming that's what you're going to make. But I'm showing you the drastic difference between what the possible entry level is for just a regular entry level job in America versus an entry level job for an IT professional. Now, let's go through some of the stuff in course careers. So here's the information. No experience or degree required. Start your career in IT. Now, as you see right here, they already pretty much covered the same thing I did. Start an amazing career with no degree or experience and be on track to make over $40,000 in your first year potentially 90,000 in following years. All right. So look, why IT? This is actually a free introductory course. Okay. So here's the outline for the free introduction course. And also what I like about this is that when you use course careers, they also give you like a free 14 day trial when you sign up. So if you don't like it after 14 days, you don't have to continue going through with it. So you get the introduction course free. You can do one time payment of 500, 500 bucks, no contracts or hidden fees. You can save $101 or you can do four by weekly payments of $150. So they made this flexible for you to get started. Now, here are some of the jobs that you could possibly do. Let me try to zoom out so it can be better for uh, you guys to see some of this stuff. Entry level, mid career, late career. Now, I want to tell you, IT Help Desk is not the only thing I believe you can apply for in this role. I mean, with this course, IT Help Desk, NOC Analyst, System Admin, cloud support engineer, some of those other titles. So you'll see them right here, network admin, assist administrator, IT support. So that kind of range, like this entry to mid, you could possibly get some of these jobs too. That's something I probably would maybe say they can look at it on the chart. And let me see, I believe they have the curriculum on here. So cool. What's in the course? Things to keep in mind, how to study, personal statistics, IT fundamentals, hardware, software, operating systems, networking. How to work tickets, common issues, common tools, customer service, and soft skills. Now, these are important. 
I always talk about how when people take courses and doing a lot of these different things, how it does not push the skills together to help you be able to start your job on day one. You learn a lot of skills, but you don't know how to make them apply to a real world scenario. So the fact that they have a section that's just for an IT day to day is very perfect. Now, here's the cool stuff. Here's the stuff you learn. And after this, I will show you on Indeed some of the, sk- the jobs you possibly could be applying for with some of these skills. So you get an Azure crash course. You learn about Azure virtual machines, ticketing systems, OS ticket, virtual private networks, Active Directory, domain naming systems, which is DNS, network file shares and permissions, which is pretty much a lot of the stuff that you would do in an entry-level job role. And also, look, this is what they also give you. A personal portfolio creation, resume construction, social network development, because you have to bring yourself through the job search process. Practice videos, personal statistics reviews, job hunt templates, execution, probability, and Google Hacks. So, and then here's some of the other course features that it has. And I'm not going to just read everything like that, but you can see right here, it's a lot of stuff. I have coaches that care. And if you guys know anything, Josh has plenty of videos of people who's taking the course, who's been able to get jobs. So, you don't got to take my word for it. You can go look that up yourself. Now, here's a, I'm going to give you a little bit of icing on the cake. So if you're in the U.S., I'm only going to do this for the U.S. Watch this. Let's say you want to do Azure, and we're going to say, and I'm going to say support. Now, why am I doing this? This is a quick way to find jobs you may be uh, uh, applicable for. So this is 25,000 jobs. Now, we want to go experience level. Let's go entry. And now, let's look what the pay is, right? So we're just going to say for these, we want at least $55,000. Now, this is already higher than that $40,000 threshold. So here are some different jobs. Remember I told you about a system administrator? Now, I will say a caveat is sometimes on Indeed and these other job search platforms, they'll put roles that's not necessarily entry level on here. It's entry level. I consider entry level to be zero to two years, maybe zero to three. But sometimes this thing will say, you know, you need three years of experience. So... Let's see what this job says, just for example. So I'm seeing the full job description, and this is what they want you to do for this job. Provide IT support, support services for Microsoft-related technologies, implement and support remote access solutions like VPN and Microsoft Intune, provide technical services, improve customer satisfaction. This does not say how many years of experience you need. This is the type of job I would tell somebody to apply to after taking a course like this. It's all about being strategic in your job search process. Like here's another one. IT help this engineer level two. $55,000, $65,000 a year. Let's see how much experience they want you to have. So they want you to have previous experience working for a managed service provider required. However, they still don't say you need a definite, you know, years of experience. So if your resume is good enough, those projects that you do in this course is good enough, you'll be fine. And let's see one more. And I'm not clicking on everything because I already know how this goes. These are some of the things I do with my clients when they want to know about roles they can learn. So, and here's another one. IT support analyst in Houston. I don't even know what the salary is for that one. But you get the gist. If you work on the skills in this course, the sky's the limit for you to start your career. I also didn't mention, but in this course as well, they do do projects where you're building out some of the stuff that you'll have on your resume as projects, which helps you stand out. That's why I say this course for the value you get for 500 bucks, you can't beat this value. Other places would charge you thousands of dollars for this. So the fact you're getting it for $500 is a steal and an extreme return on investment. And I know it's not going to always be $500. It can't be. It's just, it's too good of a concept right now to probably stay this cheap forever. So you want to jump on it while it lasts. So like I was stating, this is one of the best courses on the market that can take you from a zero to an IT hero in no time. And it's very affordable. Also, if you do want to do the course, use my link that'll be in the description. You'll also be able to get a discount on the course and get started on your IT career. So If you enjoyed the video, please let me know your thoughts below. And like I always say, let's stay textual. And until next time, we out. Peace.